Alright, so good morning everyone. Welcome back to the mod of Redemption. Today we're back for some more druid action. Now, if you didn't get the chance to see yesterday's video, we ended up taking on and destroying the infected eye, which now means in the world somewhere we have a new biome. I actually didn't realize when we killed the boss that a nuke has apparently dropped. So thank you to you lot, the creases of the couch, for pointing that out. So I think we'll start with that today. We'll go and see this new biome, see what it's all about. I'm fairly certain that some of the items that you get from those enemies in that biome are going to be what we need to craft like some of this stuff moving forward. But we also had another request. Somebody got the top comment yesterday asking if I will refight the king chicken for a rare item. Well, I only have 25 eggs, but you know what? I'll do it for you, all right? I want to see this rare item as well. I don't know if I'm going to get it. That's the only problem. But I think I can, like, I can probably find a way to, like, you can make a chicken coop, can't you? So you can make, like, an endless supply of chickens. Don't worry about it, all right? I I'll become all farmery on you, okay? I'll get those eggs. All right, so we can do one. Um, I just need to make more crowns. So let's do it. Let's do our old mortal enemy, the king chicken. Bop. So I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I love the king chicken meme so much that I'd actually forgotten that he only has five health. <laughs> I was like getting ready for a full boss fight. Well, all right. Um, so we got the bag, bop. So what did we get? We got the golden crown, the spirit of life, and the grain of, um, sorry, the pile of grain. So we pretty much have the same thing as we had before, but every time we do it, we get a gold crown. So it really is the chickens that we need to, to get. But I'm pretty sure a chicken coop was only like two chickens. It wasn't actually that expensive, you know? It's a small price to pay for, uh, for a rare item. Yeah, I, I don't actually know what the rare item is, though. Um, <laughs> I don't want spoilers like that. But knowing there's a rare item, sure, I'll take it. All right, king chicken time. Bop. Okay, let's see. Did we get it? No. All right, we, we might have to... We'll come back to this. I'll tell you what we'll do. Um, I will grab... Well, I'll keep my bug net on me. And as we're walking around now, I'll try and gather, like, any chickens that are about. So, yesterday... Yesterday was, um... Was a pretty wild day, just randomly out of nowhere. If you don't know what I'm referring to... Uh, I played Terraria with, um, with PewDiePie yesterday, and it was random, <laughs> and it was amazing. It was really, really cool. So, the story is, the context, uh, for anybody wondering, essentially, he started playing Terraria on his live stream. He said, I need Chippy to help me, because back when he was live streaming it before, I was always in the comments, just giving him, you know, any tips I can. Obviously, as you all know, I really like Felix, so I was just there anyway. Um, and I just said, all right, sure, ring me. And he did. And it was, yeah, it's probably one of the, the most nerve-wracking moments of my entire life. But once I got into that call, you know, it felt easy. And I'm really glad I did it. And it was it was just fun. And that's all I, I, I would have ever wanted it to be, is this fun. It was a right laugh. Like, um, yeah, it was really good. I really enjoyed it. So um, I just want to say thank you to everybody that was there. I saw people in the, the live chat being like, I actually jumped out of my seat when this happened. I believe it. I do. You know, you lot are always so kind to me. And even um, Felix's audience were extremely kind to me as well. Um, and that was really nice. You know, you put yourself out there to uh, a much larger audience. You don't really know how it's going to go. But it was good fun. It was really good fun. And it made me just love Terraria a little bit more. Because I very rarely played Terraria in multiplayer. And it made me rethink how I was playing. Um, and that was cool. All right, let's... Oh! Oh. Oh, I think we found the nuke. <laughs> this is really grim. Wow. Oh, my God. So, here's the thing, right? We have radioactive fallout. Stats are greatly decreased. Now, we got an item yesterday, this. The anti-crystallizer band makes you immune to xenomite infections. Now, I was kind of assuming that we might need that. So, I kind of got that out of my magic storage. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, okay, all right. This reminds me of, um, this reminds me of the, I can't remember the name of it. You know the, the custom biome in Calamity with the exploding frogs and all that? What's that called? Is it the Abyss? I think it's the Abyss. I always get confused between the Abyss, the Sunken Seas, and the Aquatic Depths. I, I'm gonna go with Abyss. Yeah, it reminds me of that. The music in here is awesome. Let me shut up for a minute so you can hear this music. 
It's cool, right? Hopefully that's loud enough for you lot. If not, you'll have to use your imagination. I'm sure somebody's put it on YouTube. So I'm assuming all we need to do here is probably just farm for those shards. So if I remember right, these shards turn into, yeah, these Xenomites. And then we turn those into, we could turn them into weapons, something like that. But I want to see if there's like a rear weapon that we can get or just some kind of item. So I'll linger here for a little bit and um, we'll get as many as possible. After this, I think what we're going to do is do the, the mech bosses today. We can probably round out that saga like in today's episode because what happens after that is we have we have the abandoned lab which I can't wait for right this is where things are going to get crazy and we have the Kingslayer which is the boss associated with the crashed ship that we saw so this is all this is all looking really good I just need more chickens all right <laughs> I need I need my own little coop this is going to be fun it's quite nice my dad actually has chickens He's, he's a lovely chicken owner. He has an allotment. He really loves his chickens. Um, he's the kind of bloke that has chickens for eggs, which is like, why? Because you can just buy them, Christ. Um, but he's one of those people that are just like, if a chicken doesn't lay an egg, he doesn't care, right? He, he just loves his chickens. I don't know how many he's got, actually. I think it's like, I'm going to say eight. There's eight chickens. <laughs> I didn't realize I had chicken siblings all this time. I, I don't really think about it. Isn't that weird? Like, I'm just like saying it out loud now. And I'm like, oh my God, my dad has eight chickens. <laughs> I was just never come up before. But yeah, he's got eight chickens. I think it's because we don't we don't live close. So I, I, don't, yeah, I don't get to interact with these chickens. But I tell you what, I'm going to look at them a different way now. They, they mean so much more. So we got some, um, we got Starlight. Now, Starlight was used for something yesterday as well. I'll be truthful. So we took a look at a lot of um, recipe browser things yesterday. And I don't think, in reality, they went in. Like, I feel like my brain just rejected them instantly. So I will have to probably look in a minute. But I can figure all that out. All right, I'll keep farming and um, we'll see what happens. Ooh, I tell you what. Should we have a little look and see if this has, like, an underground area? My assumption is probably no. Only based on the fact that the bomb has, like, landed on the surface. But let's see. So we already have this path down here anyway because of the, um, because of the hallows. Oh, yeah, I think it does. I think it does go underneath. Um, mildly infected. Oh, I've got the Xenomite infection. Uh, let's get back so we can save the moolah. Well, all right. I think maybe we'll return there. I don't know. <laughs> it might just be the same as on the surface, but with, um, I don't know, more stuff to kill. Right, so let me just quickly grab all of these uh, these herbs. I think we've probably got enough herbs now. But I feel like it's just, I don't know, it feels wrong just to not grab them. Okay, so I had a little look at these starlights. So these starlights, and this is kind of coming back to me, turn into these bars. They also turn into raw xenium. Ooh, okay. Molten scrap. So I don't think we've seen anything with that yet. Patient zero. Now, if I remember right, Patient Zero is a boss we haven't done yet. That's probably going to come up later. So, Starlight Bars turn into the shield. I remember this, right? So, we only need six of these and ten of these Xenomite. So, I think this is something that we'll definitely do. Does that say negative two defense? All right. <laughs> okay. Um, it also makes wings. This was a mage armor set, so we didn't need this. It does make a stave as well. All right, okay. So yeah, we'll make the... Oh wait, we need a Xeno Forge, don't we? All right, what was it for a Xeno Forge? Because I don't, I don't think we can make them without this. Um, Xeno Forge. So it's the... Oh wait, we, we got this, didn't we? It was the Hell Forge and the Xenomite. All right. Let's, let, yeah, let's bang all this into magic storage. And let's actually take a little look. Because I think that'll make it easier to understand. This is the thing. When you play, um, when you play a new mod and you've just got no sense of direction... I do think it requires a little bit of brain power to, you know, figure out what's going on. But I, I kind of get it after a while. So what was it? What were the Xenomite things called again? Xeno... Right, here they are. Xenomite. I was just thinking they were called shards. Right, so we'll make a bunch of those. And then what was the other thing called? Starlight, right? Starlight bars? Alright, how many of these can we make? Thirteen. Now, I think that might actually be enough for um, for an upgrade. So, we'll bop that in there. We'll have a little look at this again. 
Uh, just because I can't really remember the name of the upgrade. What was it called? Infected Fawn Shield. Okay, right. Infected... Christ. <laughs> Infected Fawn Shield. And this is a, a Druid accessory. So just to go over it again. 40, uh, sorry, 40 damage. 4% critical strike chance. Average knockback. Minus 2 defense. Double tap to dash. 14% increased Druidic critical strike chance. Yeah, that is that is actually crazy. Releases acid-like sparks as you move. Yeah, that's really good. I want to see how it looks, actually. Let's zoom it on in. Actually, let's skip the knight as well. Let's see how it looks. Oh, it looks good. I tell you what, it matches this. When we had the cobalt armor, I had this one out because it really matched the cobalt with the blue and the gold. Oh, that's good. All right, what was the, what was the stave called? Let me zoom out again. Stave. Uh, Xenomite Stave. So, 71 Druidic damage casts three Xenomite Bolts in an arc. So, I'm going to assume that it kind of curves. Oh, this was so funny, right? Because yesterday, I got the set bonus mixed up between Oracalcum and Palladium. Uh, and then I did it in the, the stream with Felix as well. And I was just giving him a bunch of fake information. <laughs> ah, great. Oh, this is cool. I like this. This is kind of like a, a giant water bolt in a way. Does it bounce? No. I do like the size of it. I feel like this would be really good at a big boss. Okay, right. Should we should we call it there then for upgrades? Was there anything else that we could have made? Um, just don't want to miss anything. If I do miss anything, just leave me a comment down below. Uh, you lot have gotten really good at just upvoting the ones that you like, suggestion-wise. So, yeah, I guess keep that up. Um, okay. Mech bosses. Mech, mech, mech bosses. Mechanical. So we got the eyeball or we got the skull. What? Oh, oh yeah, that was it. So there was uh, druid weapons we could make out of all of the souls mixed together. Yeah, I like that. All right. So what does it take for one of these then? So we need, uh, we need some more rotten chunks and some more souls of light. All right, we can do that. I'll tell you what, I'll grab that now so that when it comes to the night time, we can, we can do both. Ooh, what's the traveling merchant selling? Tell me, we've actually got decent moolah. What are you selling? Nothing of interest. <laughs> I do not need an angel halo. All right, so I've got five rotten chunks. Yeah, that's probably enough. All right, let's go get the, um, the souls of night and we'll go from there. Oh yeah, so one thing I didn't get to, oh, Chicken. Chicken, chicken, chicken. So yeah, one of the gifts I forgot to mention for my birthday the other day was um was Pedgwin actually sent me a gift on Steam. I thought this was really kind. Um hey, another chicken. Hey, if only the gift was a chicken pet, it could have been even better. Uh no, Ped sent me a copy of Hades, which is um a game I really do know I'll love. Um so I'm really excited to to check that out. I thought that was like a really thoughtful gift. Uh, because he, he knows what I'm into. Um, so maybe that will be like a new game Friday. I know today's Friday, but um, but look, right? The the days of the week are a thing of the past, all right? We've, we've all got to embrace it. You know, I tried to deny it for a while, but that's right. I'm a non-Friday believer. Um, but for real, I think maybe we'll do it in a video or I'll stream it. So then I can get some, some tips off of you lot. Because apparently it's difficult. But I think that's fun. Like, to my understanding, it's a roguelike. But it's a roguelike where the more you play, the easier the game gets. I think, like, they reward you for dying and, and retrying and getting better and stuff. Uh, kind of like Binding of Isaac in a way. You know how, like, when you play Binding of Isaac, you slowly unlock new items and stuff? And then those items can be, like, really good. Like, once you got the D6 and stuff, it's a, a bit of a game changer. Um, maybe it's a bit like that. But anyway, I think it'd be a fun video or stream. So, I'll look into that. That'd be nice. I mean, I'm really excited to play it. Um, just need to, just need to be less busy. The, um, the house stuff, by the way. You know, I, I've been kind of, like, talking about that me and Courtney have started the ball rolling and stuff. The, the ball is still rolling. It's still looking good. I still won't have news to share for, like, another two weeks. Uh, but I just want to give, like, a bit of an update about it. You know? It's going well. It's going well. I don't know what will happen. Um, I actually really don't. Um, but it's looking good, you know? It's a bit of a process. It's a process I didn't really know too much about. On the subject of Ped, like, I remember not too long ago, like, I had to get loads of, um, probably, like, dad advice off Ped for stuff like this. So, you know, he's been a great person in my life. Um, for real, man. 
And it's nice because even though he's no longer, you know, a tr uh, primarily Terraria content creator, it's great that, like, out of the family I've got with this game, like, I don't know. I've, I've like, yeah, I've met some really amazing people, I'm sure. And it's really cool. i tell you one thing, though. I am shattered today. Like, I am, like, actually knackered. Yeah, I didn't sleep good at all. Like, I slept awfully. I think it was just, like, the pure adrenaline, you know, from just, like, a really good day. My mind was like, I don't know, mate. I don't think you need to shut off, all right? Sleep. I heard you like coffee. You don't need it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty shattered today. But I'm, I'm glad that this recording's going well. You know, I was kind of fearing for it a little bit. I was like, I don't know. I might be a jumbling mess. Nah, this is good. All right, so I've got, I've got all the souls of night and stuff. So, we can do that fight. I tell you what, I'm gonna get up to 12. I've got 10, uh, just so we can do like a refight if we need to. Because I imagine we'll, we'll probably mess up one, just based on the I've uh, sorry the twins yesterday. Okay, so let's look into that chicken coop. Let's see. So it was just oh god, <laughs> it was just two chickens, all right? Uh, chicken number one, chicken number two. So we needed hay. All right. Okay. Well, we can get that. Hay and 30 wood. Right. Sell me a sickle. Thank you. You know what the sickle always reminds me of? Um, I don't know how many of you are, like, big Call of Duty Zombies fans. But I remember as, like, a kid when they added the first, like, um... Actually, that's a lie. It's the second one. But, um... <laughs> when they added the, the sickle to uh, the map Ascension, it was, like, so cool. I was going to say it was the first, um, custom melee. But the first one was the Bowie Knife in Doris. Yeah, I, I love Call of Duty Zombies. Before I made Chippy Gaming, I used to be a, a Call of Duty news channel. Not a lot of people know that um, because the channel's now been deleted. I got, do you know what happened to it for real? Uh, Call of Duty um, struck me with a bunch of copyright strikes and removed it because I would use the trailer footage when I was talking about all the news and stuff. And back then, um, you know, fair use and all that was a real different place on YouTube. And... Um, and gaming in general. Yeah, you couldn't actually be a gaming channel and have adverts on your videos back then. Kind of crazy. YouTube's come really far in recent years. I tell you what, do I have enough Hellstone for an upgrade? No. I've only got Demonite. I need more storage lockers. I'm like really running out now. Um, I, I guess one of these can be... Alright, storage unit. Bop. Great. Uh, and then we'll make the Demonite upgrade for that. This should give us a lot more room. Okay. Let's slap that there. It finally gets bigger. It's been kind of... This whole thing's been kind of smaller. I've just been banking on upgrades. Okay, right. Let's put that in there. Put that in there. Two paper tubes. Cheers. I'll never use that again. Okay, right. Coop. Let's see. Bop. Thank you very much. Okay, this is good. And then we'll slap this down. And the plan is to just wait for it to, to spawn out chickens. And we'll slay them. I don't know how actually, how often does this spawn out chickens, actually. I don't even know. Does it actually spawn chickens? Wait, let me read it again. Occasionally spawns chicken eggs. Ah, alright. So it's like um it's like an AFK farm. Well, I'll leave it there then. I'll just I'll I'll sit here for a while. We're gonna wait until nighttime anyway. So the chicken coop so far has given me two eggs. Uh, we only need two more to have another refine. But I thought, let's uh, let's just do one now, just in case we just get it on this one. And then we don't need to um, to do it again. Alright. Bop. King Chicken. Kill it. Here we go. Uh, it gives eggs as well. Oh, you, once you have, like, enough of these, you can probably get a nice cycle of them. Oh, is this it? Oh, that's from Alchemist. Oh, Alchemist NPC. You proper got my oats up then. <laughs> I don't blame you, but damn... All right, this will probably be the last one we do before the mech bosses, but it's a good little warm-up, you know? Did we get it? No. All right. <laughs> I'm guessing it is kind of rare. That's fine. I think it's worth the effort, even if we don't necessarily uh, get it today. I mean, I'd like to get it today, but <laughs> this could be a whole episode of chicken farming. I don't know how I don't know how pleased my dad would be with that, with his, um, you know, <laughs> with his chicken stance. Um, that's, that's honestly a phrase I never thought I'd say. Chicken stance. You know, that's, that's definitely a walk. Uh, right, okay. Let's grab some buffs and go from here. Got some shiny boys for you lot. Um, do we have any hunter? Ah, oh, we can make hunter. The thing is, oh, 
Oh, this always confused me. I always think that Hunter is made with lenses and not shark fins, but it makes complete sense. It really does. Right. Oh, which one should we do first? Should we do the destroyer? I kind of think we should do the destroyer. I feel like this gravity thing, for real, is going to absolutely mince the destroyer. If the probes get sucked into the destroyer, then then we've won. Like, sorry, into the uh, into the gravity effects. Then then we've definitely won, no doubt. But if they don't, it could be difficult. Right, I'm going to do this next to all my NPCs like an absolute uh, maniac. All right, let's see this damage. Yeah, they do. All right. Okay, this is good. So what we'll do is if we let it charge us and then get out the way. Here we go. We or What we need is we need it to stay in a reliable pattern so that we can um, keep this in the same place. Because this takes a little while to, to hit. It's a delayed effect. I think I do need to start moving around a little bit more. I think a heart reach would have been real nice here. But we obviously haven't got the luxury. Yeah, this really helped. I kind of thought we'd get kind of overrun with lasers, though, at this point. I think I'm used to Calamity's Destroyer, because Calamity's Destroyer is, like, really heavy on the lasers, isn't it? All right, we just got to keep it in a in a pattern we know. Yeah, this is yeah, this is easy. This is really good. I think if I was to, to moan about this weapon... Not moan about it, because I actually love it. Like, some, I, honestly, I think sometimes, like... I like just playing with fun weapons, and this is just fun. Um, if I was to tweak it, I would just tune down the gravity loads. I think that's it. You want to have a little bit of pull with the gravity, but not enough to trap an enemy. You know, you can't you can't be doing this. But it's fun, though. I can't, I can't complain. Oh, I tried this, by the way, while I was killing some of the corruption stuff. It's really hard to aim with. I'm sorry I didn't just use it then. Because I'm sure a lot of you would have liked to have seen it. All right. Okay, good. So we're one step closer to getting some of those hallowed staves. Yeah, let me let me show you it actually, so I can give you like a proper idea rather than like just bad mouthing it. All right, let me summon that and then do this. What do you think? I mean, the acid effect's really nice. I'll take burning on any weapon, really. Oh, it, do you know what? It is it is hard to hit. Like, there's there's no denying that it is. But when it hits, it hits hard, and I can appreciate that. Like, I feel like this is probably going to do more damage than the uh, the crystal save that we got. And this is when you think about it. My voice cracked then. You can tell I'm tired. Um, this is a weapon that you would get before before the mech bosses. So you, this is like a weapon that it recommends in a way. Because we did we did them out of order, didn't we? All right, let's try let's try this. Let's see if anything gets sucked into it. Let's see if any of the uh, the arms do. No. Okay. All right. And uh, do we still have the crystal one? I think we do. All right. So let's summon. Let's let's go crystal for a little bit. See how that looks. I feel like we're fine either way. I tell you what, I might do. Yeah, I'm, I think what I'll yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting really like sidetracked. I tell you what, I might just stick to this, and then if I stay consistent, I'll probably do better. It's not going to be worth losing over the fight over just because I'm just kind of like flicking through weapons and that. But this is good. So I can't remember if I've spoken about this. So I apologize if I have already. But um, I trapped myself to a, a little birthday gift the night before uh, my birthday. So I ended up getting the um, the port of Mario 3D World. And I've got to say, like, I am absolutely loving it so far. I'm probably about halfway through uh, Bowser's Fury. And that's really good. It's very, like, Odyssey-like. Uh, but the actual game itself is really good. See, the thing is, I uh, <laughs> it's weird, but, like, I, I have played it before. Because I really loved um, 3D Land. When I got my 3DS, it came with a copy of 3D Land installed. So 3D Land is like by far one of my favorite Mario games of all time. And I remember I tried the sequel on Wii U, but I didn't like the sluggishness of it. I thought it was slow. Uh, and they actually increased the speed of it in um, in the port. And you can really tell like it makes the world of difference, honestly. So I'm super happy with that. What do you lot think of the damage here? Is this good enough? I re honestly, I can't tell. I think the only thing with this is we're not really damaging any of the um, the ligaments, you know, enough to... Hmm, I don't know. I almost feel like I should go crystal, but then crystal would require being very precise. I think maybe I should be flicking between them, really. I think that's it. I think flick between them, get the crazy, like, acid buff or whatever it is. Because this is almost, it looks almost like, um, I-Core. 
and then just switch to the crystal one. I might be quiet for a little bit, just I, I kind of need to concentrate now. We only have four and a half minutes left. All right, so I've only got a minute left. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get this. Let me try more with the crystal and this special buff. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to get it. Oh, no, wait, maybe. Actually, maybe. Do you know what? When you've got the crystal and the triple shot, it is really high damage. But it's without the triple shot. It's not... It's probably not looking likely. I don't know. Let me try and get this buff on it. So we got the burning effect. Let's get this. Because this does... It hits hard, but it's... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I've got 20 seconds left. Yeah, I don't think this happens. Yeah, because like even these, like I'm just wasting so much potential to hit it. It's only really when it spins you get all the the extra damage and stuff. Like when it spins, it's really good. Seven seconds left. All right, let's just accept defeat, everyone. All right, let's take it, take it gracefully. Christ. All right, skeletal prime refight tomorrow. Be there. Yeah, we're gonna do that. So, I think that does it for today's episode. That was a lot of fun. Guys, thanks for being here. Um, yeah, we'll work on... I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, I'll AFK some of those chicken eggs. And we'll come back tomorrow. Get that rear item. Or at least I hope so. How many we got? Yeah, these, these don't pump out fast enough. I'll have to AFK this. But that was good fun. Look, if you have a good recommendation for a, a cool weapon for Skeletron, let me know. Alright. See you in the next one, guys. Shout out to our members. But, um, but that is it. Right. Peace.